All right. So the main important thing is we have 5 raised to the x minus 3 plus 2 equals 8. So the main important thing to apply uh, the 1 to 1 property, to apply the 1 to 1 property, basically what we need to do is isolate the exponent. We can't even use that, that property. Now we're now. We can't even use that property unless we have the, I, the exponent isolated. So the first thing we need to do is subtract two on both sides. Now we have 5 raised to the x minus 3 is equal to 6. And ladies and gentlemen, we can't use the 1 to 1 property because we can't think of a number that's raised to a power that's going to be the same for 5 and for 6. So what we can do, though, is take the log. And remember, using my properties, if I take the log of the base that's, um, is, if I take the log of base of the same as the 5, then I can eliminate that, and it's just going to be equal to my power, which is x minus 3. So what I'll do is I'll take log base 5 of 5 raised to the x minus 3 equals log base 5 of 6. All right. This is the exact same thing that we did, except for last problem, we had a 10 as our base. Yes? When do you know to take the log? When you cannot use the 1 to 1 property. Right? Before, like for instance, before we had a problem like this. So what did we do? We rewrote 25 as 5 squared. Then we canceled out the 5s, right? Then we, and we could solve it. But now you can't, can't, you, can't, you can't rewrite 5 and 6 as two exponents with the same base. So you have to take the log of both sides. Then log base 5 of 5, as I mentioned over there, it's just going to equal 1, so we're just left with x minus 3 equals log base 5 of 6. Now, the thing that I want you guys to make sure you write down so you guys remember and that you guys have is what we call the change of... Just give me a second, and I'll finish, and then I'll... Or you have a question, specific question. I, I know you missed a lot of th things, so just wait till I'll kind of, it wouldn't work for this, so I can explain why. Um, but let me do that later, or after I'm done with this. So the reason what we're going to do is, you guys, if you guys look in your calculator, there's no log base 5. You can't s use your calculator for log base 5, OK? So what we're going to have to do is, if I have x minus 3 equals, you can only use log base 10 of 6. You can only use log base 10 in your calculator. So what you're going to do is do log of 6 divided by log of 5. Rewriting your logarithm like this is what we call the change of base formula. So I can do that in my calculator. And what you'll simply do is just type in log of 6, end parenthesis, divided by log of 5. I'm just saying, log, you type in log 6, enter, divided by log 5, okay. enter. That's all I was saying. I'm doing the change of base because x minus 3 equals. No, you're doing the change of base because you're taking the log base 5. We don't have, in our calculators, you can't compute log base 5. It only does log base 10. All right. So when you type in log in your calculator, it's only base 10. So if you have something base 5 or any other base, you have to use change of base. So now, yep. I'm sorry? No, let me look at what you have here. 1.11. One um, one one. So then, can I now solve for x here and add 3? So x is approximately 4.11. One one. 